you. There's a boy who works at Starbucks. He's very inspirational. He is very inspirational. Because of many things. I come in at 811. And he smiles and says, How are you? When he smiles and says, How are you? I can swear my heart grows wings. So today at 11, I decided I should meet him. I decided I should meet him in a proper, normal way. So today at 11, when he smiled and said, How are you? I said, Fine, and my name's Jack. And he softly answered, Good. Hey. I said my name is Jenna, and thank you for the extra phone. And he said his name was Taylor, which provides the inspiration for this poem.
When she left, I cleaned her table, and I found this folded napkin with a poem. But she was clearly interested, so things got out of hand. Cause before I found her poem, we had had this conversation. I told her I was playing in the village with my band. And when I arrived Friday evening to our gig in Arthur's basement, I saw Jenna in the front row, and I heard her scream my name. <laughs> My friend said, man, she's crazy. She's been here since 7.30. And she told me she's your girlfriend. And she's really glad she came. After the gig was over, she followed me the whole way home. As I ran to try to lose her, I composed another version of her poem. Sick. Oh, Jenna, the stalker chick. You scare me, you scare me, you scare me. <laughs> See, I used to be the kind of guy who never was rude or doubting. But now I've got this lunatic chick in my life. Every night at my window, she's shouting. Calling is calling the police. <laughs> Many a girl have let me court her. Never did I need a restraining order. <laughs> Jenna, come find me now. I'm transferring to a new Starbucks. There's twenty on each block. So good luck.